Hi, everybody. Welcome back to fourth grade division partial quotients. You ready for your next problem? Make sure you have that paper and pencil ready. If you don't, pause that video and go grab it. All right, here we go. So our next problem today is 162 divided by 6. So let's go ahead and write that problem. You can do this on paper. 162, draw our long division sign, divided by 6. All right. Now, if you think you can do this without me, go ahead and try. You can pause the video, give it a whirl, and then if you're having any trouble, you can unpause it and see how I did it and see if we get the same answer. All right, here we go. So we want to think about six facts because we're going to go into 162. Now, we used the 10 strategy last week. That was an easy one. We know that 10 times 6 is 60. And we can still do that. But if we want to get it there a little faster, think about this. What if we double the 10 to make it 20? Okay, and we said 20 times 6. Hmm, okay, well, we know that 10 times 6 is 60. So, therefore, if we want to get 20 times 6, we could just double the 60. 60 plus 60 is what? Yeah, 120. And if you weren't sure, you could use your paper and write down 20 times 6 and see if you get 120, which you would. All right, so let's try that. 20, let's write that on the outside here. Times 6 is 120, so let's make sure we line up our columns. 120, subtract. All right, now go ahead and find the difference. 2 minus 0 is 2. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Good job. You can write the 0 as a placeholder if you want to. It doesn't make any difference. All right, so now your next job is to figure out, do I know any six facts that get close to 42 or equal exactly 42? Think about it. Oh, six times seven. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's write it down. Six times seven, so we're going to write that on the outside, equals 42. If you did write the zero, go ahead and write that again there as a placeholder. Draw your subtraction in equal sign, and now let's subtract. 42 minus 42 gives us 0. Oh, that 0 looks a little flat. That's what happens when you get to the bottom of the screen. All right, so now to find the quotient or our answer, we're going to circle the numbers on the outside. We're going to add them up. 20 plus 7 gives you 27. Yeah, great. So let's go ahead and write that at the top. 27 and a remainder, capital R, of zero. Oh, those zeros. It's hard to draw with a finger. All right, I hope you got the same answer as me. Get ready for your next problem. Good job.